Okay. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Coffee and Art. Close up. Very close up. We are coloring in the Minuet de Bonheur. Don't email me. That's not what it says, but you know. Anyway, we're coloring in this, and it has the cutest little animal pages ever. So this is part two, so I'm not going to talk about what we did in part one. Hopefully, you'll just, you can go back and watch part one, where we started the bricks. We went from this with watercolors to this, and then we did some watercolor washes, like right here, we just have a little bit of gray on this bunny, and a little bit of blue, because this one's going to be a white bunny, then we did a black bunny, and we did a brown bunny. So that's all we've got done. The background is the black, it's acrylic paint, just some Americana Deco Art Craft paint, and uh, because you can go uh, put your pencil over the top of acrylic paint. Um, so that's as far as we got right now. Again, I'm really zoomed up. Uh, we have been using the, let me get the little thing here, the Kurataki Ganzai Tambi 24 set of watercolors to do the washes. That's what we started with. And I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more washes on the little gray bunny and a little bit more blue shading on the white bunny. And then, we, and then we've gone back in with color pencils to do the fur. So he's well. You can see this one's done and that one's done. And then the white whiskers. Um, that's a Posca pen, a Posca paint pen. Okay. So if anybody else has any questions, put them in caps. If you're watching this on YouTube. Um, it's a live show with a live chat and mostly awake people. All right, let's do the little gray one first. So I'm using this little butcher tray here, a little porcelain, these little watercolor, they make your watercolors, get them at the art supply store uh, for mixing my colors on or adding, you know, washing, watering them down uh, for the, um, for the watercolor parts. I'm using water brush. And then when I used uh, the black acrylic paint, I'm just using a regular paint brush because you don't want to put acrylic paint on your water brushes. All right, so now I'm going to go back over here using just some of the, the leftover gray here and blue that I got sitting in here. I'm just picking up some of that to add another layer of gray to um, my little bunny. Thank you, Terry Trouble. So, I'm just going to add more shadow. Again, because this is a color book, guys, you have to dry in between your layers. Otherwise, it's going to go through. So, I'm just right now adding another layer of, of watercolor here. Then I'll go back and add um, pencil fur. <laughs> So if y'all have any questions, just ask. Bye, Shells. Thanks for coming in, Shalene. So you can see I'm just adding more shadow. And again, if I even want more shadow, then I'll need to um, let this dry, which I'll hit it with the heat gun just to make it go faster. And then put another layer. So let's just say now I want to dry this. And I'm going to just take the same color, same color paint, but I'm adding another layer. I can keep adding and adding layers as many as I want, but you got to dry in between. Otherwise, it's going to go through. Yeah, a little belly bunny. Because <laughs> uh, this is not watercolor paper. It's just a color book paper, right? And even though it's not a bad quality, it will still... Um, it'll still go through if you're, if you're not careful with the water. It's not ever the paint that goes through. It's the water. Okay, maybe just a tad right there. 
So while that's kind of sitting there for a minute, you scrubbed in some watercolor a little too hard the other day, and yeah, yeah, because <laughs> you forget, you know, you forget, oh, this is a color book, and you're sitting there coloring and scrubbing and coloring, and, and it's like, uh-oh, color book. <laughs> So, yeah, so now I'm going to go down here to the white one, and I'm shading him with uh, a blue. So I'm just going to pull some more off here, put it over here on my tray. So, yeah, I'm going to shade him with blue. I've already got a little bit on there, you can see, but I'm going to add a little bit more. And again, you got to build it up in layers and dry it in between. And he's going to have, inside of his ears are going to be pink, I think. Because even though he's a white bunny, he's still going to have a shadow. And again, that's one layer. You might have a little bit more right there where his arm is into the body. Just a little bit there. Okay, now real quick, I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of the red that's on my palette here and water it down and put some pink in his ears. And I did get a little bit of a boo-boo on his head right there. <laughs> so I can, I'll just go over that with a Posca just to kind of like erase it. It did peel, it didn't go through, but it peeled, yeah. All right, now let me dry this. And I might add just a tiny bit more shadow right under these flowers. Back in the back part of his body here. That's my Twitter going off on my iPad. I don't keep Twitter uh, notifications uh, sound on my phone, but when I bring my iPad in here into the studio when I'm in here, and the, so it's my iPad that's going off. Okay, something like that. Just a little bit more show. Maybe a little bit more right there. I'm not liking that flatness there. I'm wanting a little bit of more something going on there like that and again I will um, go in here with some pencils too all right so now just maybe a little bit behind his ears here and under his face probably be a little darker there can y'all see if the shading on white is <laughs> it's a little tricky here to see because it's so light but I don't want to get it too dark because I want to keep him white. But what I kind of want to do is use the Posca to maybe do some white fur highlights after I get it all shaded in and everything. I think that'll be a nice touch. Have you tried rubbing alcohol in a water brush? For, for what? Why would I want to do that, Jan? The answer would be no, but I would want to know why would I do that? Why would I want to use rubbing alcohol? I miss, and I'm, I'm sure the chat talk, was talking about it and I just missed it. Glycerin and what, or rubbing alcohol. Uh, okay, I'm just not understanding the purpose. Am I okay? What do you mean, Deb? Have I missed a bunch of chat? going by that I didn't know about. Alright, a little bit more here. You'll have to give me some more explanation while I'm working. Because remember guys, there's a 30 second delay in the chat from the conversation. Helps while peeling on thin paper. I don't know, does it? Why? I don't know why it would. It's still wet, but it dries faster than water. Yeah, too much trouble. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Maybe, maybe it would work. 
Uh, I won't be doing it though. Just saying. Because I'm just careful with my water. And also, I don't know, if I put alcohol in here, what's, what would that do to my paints? Um, if I put alcohol in my water brush and picked it up in here, what would that do to my paints? It may mess my paints up. Do you think? Uses nothing for blending. Uh, yeah. Okay, sorry guys, I missed something there on from Dev, Dev Colors. Yeah, <laughs> extra step, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now let me hit this with the heat gun, because I want to move along. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying it wouldn't work. I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go in now. Let me move this tray out of my way. And I'm going to go in here with a couple of the grays. Where's my dark gray? Where, oh, here it is. My dark gray. All right, now I'm going to let me sharpen them nice because I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to flick some fur on these babies and then rub it in, blend it in nice. Oh, and now while we're thinking about it, let me grab a handful of our chat pack. Here's our little chat pack where we start conversations with. <laughs> and uh, let me flick some fur and then we'll ask a question here. Yeah, I don't know what it would do to the paint. Yeah. All right, so now remember this one's a gray bunny, but I don't want them too. I don't want them this dark, you know. I want to keep them still kind of light, so I'm just going to kind of go in here and follow the little fur lines that are already there for me under his neck and around some of these flowers, and just kind of flick, flicking some fur. I hear myself holding my breath. I don't do it that often anymore, but I still catch myself every now and then. It used to be when I would hold my, well, I still do sometimes, hold my breath and then I'll go, mm, and let out, exhale, you know? And Hubster used to go, why are you moaning while you're arting? I said, I'm not moaning. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> I just caught myself doing it. That's why I said it. So thanks everybody for hanging out again if you're watching on YouTube recording this is a live show with a live chat and mostly awake we encourage napping though we do encourage napping oh so she used which one the alcohol all right so lady two north says she saw it used on uh, somebody using it to for sharpies to prevent bleed through I don't know. I'd be a little leery of anything preventing bleed through with Sharpies. But I'll take your word for it, Jan. <laughs> bleed through. Preventing bleed. Is it the glycerin or the alcohol? Which one is the preventing of the Sharpies going through? I love Lady Jan's pictures on Instagram. She has beautiful nature pictures. Not just beautiful, but stunning nature pictures. <laughs> Alcohol with Sharpies. Okay, Jan. How do you how do you do that though? Because it, to me, and not that I'm going to do it, trust me, I, I, I probably won't, but I'm just going to repeat it for anybody that may want to try something else. Is he looking fuzzy? Because I'm going to smooth out his fur here in a minute. 
because I don't want him to look like a squirrel, you know. And I'm going to put whiskers on him. That means I'm going to have to take care of doing this. Uh... Okay. Some people use alcohol as markers, and the glycerin is used for blending pencils. How do you use the alcohol with the... Uh... I mean, do you, you're not dipping your Sharpie in the alcohol. How are, how is the, how are you using it? That's what I'm curious. You pouring out some alcohol and using a brush and Sharpies? Now you got me curious, Jan. Just saying. Now, this brick back here, this will stand out when, once I get, um, let me go ahead and do a little bit of that. Once I get this brickwork done behind him, it'll differentiate between him and this little brick wall. So he'll stand out a little bit from this brick wall. See what I mean? Once I finish doing this brick, like this brick, she scrubbed some Sharpie color on, oh, on Upo paper and picked it up with their alcohol. Ah, okay. So the, that was the, the, so this was what Jan said. She scrubbed some Sharpie on her uh, Upo paper, but I, I don't know, I guess you could do it on any, I don't know, and then picked it up with the water brush filled with alcohol. Okay. Not happening. I don't trust Sharpies on my color book pages. Just saying, I really don't. I don't really, I didn't really want to do all these bricks, but now I got started on them. But that's interesting, Jan. It is interesting. There's so many cool techniques out there. And I know people use the... Um... Yeah, because the alcohol is what makes the Sharpies bleed through. Exactly, Jean. So how is that preventing it from bleeding through when it's the actual alcohol that makes it bleed through? I don't know. <laughs> and then, you know, there's people that do the... Um, you know, they'll they'll use um, what you call it. Not now I got glycerin stuck in my head. Not glycerin, but um, that you use with your color pencils to melt the wax. Um, you know, I see that I'm not going to do either. But I mean, people do get cool effects with it. But I, it's I'm not I'm just just not me. You know. All right, so I just wanted to get enough of this brick done here. Uh, let me go ahead and do this one brick that's right by his head because it's kind of in the way there. Because I want to, uh, I want to separate this brick from his little face. I think what I'm going to need to do is go with a Posca right along his fur line here because I've lost him in the brick. He's just another brick in the wall. <laughs> Gamsol, yeah, thanks, Button. I don't want him to be just another brick in the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and put some white there. And then I can go back over it with, uh, with light gray. Probably along this arm, too. We'll need it by the time we're done. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh... Aaron making more work for us, too. <laughs> yeah, Sharpies. Now, I, I'm not nothing against a Sharpie. Now, let me say this. Vicky, who does mandalas a lot, I would probably use Sharpies on a one-sided, you know, mandala, mandala, mandala. Because they're, you, they're clean. Clean and sharp. Yeah, my ch I'm channeling my inner Pink Floyd. That's right. <laughs> Okay, Deb might need to refresh. If she hasn't seen me all this time, yeah, she needs to refresh. All right, so let's get back in here with a little bit of the dark gray. Maybe around his eye a little down in here. Set the eye back a little. He's looking cute. Wait till we get the whiskers on this little baby but I need to put something 
I'm sure this is probably going to be gray too, because a bird bath, or it could be tan, because I've got the gray brick, I mean the gray shelves, right, the gray shelves, so maybe, maybe this bird bath should be like a stone color, so let me just go ahead and put a, let me put a wash of maybe yellow ochre on it for now, let's see here, where's my, let me get my tray back here, let's do a little test. All right, let's add a little, there's a little bit of red there. Let's knock it back. Let's knock back that yellow. I'm trying to get a stone color going on. Let's see, let's add a little bit more of this mud in there. Okay, that's probably good enough for a wash for the uh, bird bath. Remember, that's a little too much water there. You gotta be careful. Okay, that's good. I just want something here so that I can do his whiskers, have the background a little bit broken in there. Okay, let me dry this. A little too much water. That's kind of concerning me. Okay. Now, let's go back to our little bun. Now, I'm going to go in there with the light gray. focused all right so again now I'm gonna blend him out a little so he doesn't look like a squirrel and what I mean is like so he doesn't look like coarse squirrel fur we want him soft and smooth see But anyway, back on the Gamsol thing, you know, I see people, I have seen a couple people, let's put it, you know, I mean, I've only seen a couple people do it, so um, I don't know how popular it is to use the Gamsol on your color book pages, but with color book, um, with color pencil, wax color pencil, because the Gamsol breaks down the wax, and uh, melts the wax, so to speak. All right, let me sharpen my dark gray again. Oh, let me go in and do his eye, too, because you'll know I like to get his eye nice and dark and then put that highlight in there myself. And I, this is just a, it's just a uh, pen, a permanent pen. There's tons of kinds, different kinds. This one's the black liner. I get these at Hobby Lobby, and this just happens to be a .6 but it doesn't matter, I can, whatever size, just to color in the eye. And then take the white Posca and just put one little dot there. Craze, this is this one. The Minuet de Bonheur. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, and different people have different uh, translations is what it is. Uh, anyway, I've seen it, I've seen people do that, and it it looks kind of cool, but here's the thing about, for me, putting any kind of thing like that on a color book page, it usually goes through. And I know the ones that have used it say, yeah, it goes through and it dries. I don't want it going through. I don't want, I don't want oily stuff on my pages. That's just me. 
don't want oily stuff on my pages. I'm just darkening up a few more little places here. It's because I use lots of light layers that I have, you know, I can keep adding stuff to it here. Look at that little foot sticking up. Isn't that so cute? This is darker one behind. Such adorable little bunnies. Little buns. Our um, bunny um, designs has bunnies. That little gray bunny. That's what you <laughs> Cuter than the brown one or the black one. And the little fuzzy tail. It's cute because it's laying down in the bird bath, right? <laughs> so I'm just getting a little darker areas. And then I'm going to go back over it again. Blend it out. Anyway, I just don't like things coming through my pages. And it does go through. The uh, oils. You want bunnies in your flower pots on your front porch too, Kathy Gayberg. Oh, thanks. Um, congratulations, Deb Collar is going to have a... She's going to be a grandma again. Congratulations. You want them all? <laughs> yeah, because this one has nose puffs. Yeah, yeah. Vicky likes this one because it has nose puffs. <laughs> this one might have a little bit of a nose puff. All right, so now let's go ahead and blend out a little bit with some white. Just a little bit. And this one, because it's the gray, I think I'm going to add even a little bit here. Let's put a little nose puff on this one, too, for Vicki. Nose puff right there. There we go, Vicki. Just a little bit of a nose puff. And blend this in, and then I might add some uh, Posca. See where I added the Posca line around the hands and around his face? So now I can blend that out. But look, see how it gives it a highlight uh, on the edge of that of his fur by doing that? Wait, here, let me do it again so you can, in case you missed it. Like right here on his chest, right here in his little tummy. We'll just add a little bit of fur puffing up. See, just a couple little fur lines. He's got a puffy little fur belly. There you go, Vicky. Maybe just a little bit on that leg. Okay, now I'll let that dry. And then we'll, um, here, let me put a few little fur lines here. And then once it's dry, we can come in here and go back over it with the gray so it's not harsh white. You see a few little lines there? And then again, he's got a little nose. There's his little puffball cheek things. <laughs> Let's put a couple little fur hairs coming out of his ears. You have to do all this kind of like, you, you know, you got to be careful that you're not going to be covering it all back up. So you want to kind of do this kind of stuff at the end. Maybe you should put something in his arms. Well, here's what I was going to do. This right here, like this little water spout thing, I'm going to make it like spraying on him. Maybe we can get to that here in a minute. But i got to finish these bricks. you got to do the back before you can do the front. So. Let me finish those bricks then. That way we can do that. Alright, so let me go back to my sienna color my dark brown and dark gray and shoe grays those are the colors that i use see how we pulled the brick out from the background like that wasn't this brown though was it maybe no it was sienna this color okay so i'm going to different 
dark shades of brown here. Kind of blend in the brick wall to the background. Then we added some, a little bit of light gray. Need that darker right in there. Just see the little bit of brick poking out there. And took the gray and blended that out. So it kind of looks like it's popping out of the black background, you know? Then we took a little bit of Posca and just put some little texture. I'm probably missing a layer in here somewhere, kind of trying to get ahead of myself. But I want to get this little brick done here so I can move on to the water. <laughs> I think it needs a little bit dark gray in there. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks everybody for hanging out. This is part two of the little bricks and bunnies, or bunnies and bricks. I forget how Kathy named it. Alright, so now I'm going to take the light gray and go over that white little Posca lines. dark brown in a couple of spots here. And the uh, sienna color. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the light gray on top of the bunny's little fur where I popped it out. Aren't they? Hey, Phoebe, aren't they? Look, there's the brown one. Here's the black one. And I do need to focus again, I can tell. The light change is every, it's like an ongoing light change around here. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Let's see. Oh, not that much. Okay, that looks pretty good. Alright, so now I'm going to take the light gray and go over the little areas that I put the Posca on and just kind of so, kind of blends it out a little. I'm going to put his little whiskers on, and then we'll go to the little white one. Oh, we got to do the water on him. i got to do that water spout. Let's 
he cute? And there's a little brown one. And I haven't done their bows, as you can see. I, I don't know yet what color I want to do the bows. So I haven't done the bows yet. I really like the way the black fur turned out. And again, we highlighted or shadowed with the blue. Okay, well, I just took my first baby step finish. Your mini magazine shows your fingers are covered with glue. Yay! <laughs> I hope it's Eileen's tacky that'll roll right off, Kmore. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. This little spout, probably want it to be a copper color. So let's find a yellow ochre to kind of... Yellow ochre. Let's just go ahead and put a yellow ochre on the spout here. Maybe some of part of this might be kind of a... And maybe a little bit of blue or gray. We'll just kind of do it because I want it to look kind of rustic or rusty. So then, so I'm just going to use some yellow ochre, some sienna, a little bit of blue, and do it kind of rust up. I don't know if you can be able to see that, but kind of make it a little rustic. And then I'm going to take my Posca, though, and I'm going to put some little dots on the spout, like it has little holes in the spout, and then I'm going to outline the top of it to give it a um, highlight with the Posca. And then maybe let me get my black right up under it to make it dark under there. Kind of clean up some of these edges a little. Maybe a little more shadow right here. All right, now is that dry? Yeah. And go back over those little dots, just to knock back the whiteness of them. A little more shadow. I kind of lost that edge. Let me go back over it with the Posca. Let it dry and then fix that little edge. Just that little highlight made it look... I know, right? I know. Could even add just a tiny bit more, actually. And maybe a little bit of shine right there. Maybe there's a little bit of a shine right there on the copper, too. I gotta let it dry <laughs> before you go back over with pencil. <clears throat> so while we're doing that, let me do the little bunny whiskers. So, again, he might have a couple little hairs coming off of his eyebrows, but the main ones I want to now, here's the thing, guys, I'll have to do this again because I'm going to go right over these flowers that aren't colored yet. So you really want to do this kind of thing after you've got all the background done. Do I like the thinner part? Yeah, this one I think, I'm not sure what this one is, Jean. It's a fine. Uh, it's the short one. It's fine. So I guess, what is it, a 5.5? 5. 5? Will you name this Rabbit Connery? <laughs> Sean in the water, yeah. All right, so again, I'm going to put his little whiskers here, and you're not even going to see him here because the whiskers are coming all the way down on top of this stone um, bird bath so I'll have to do them again once I've colored that in but I just wanted to show you see this is why I had to do the brick because I'm doing his whiskers on this side too and you have to have the brick colored before you can put the whiskers on see so yeah there's his little whiskers now let me go back over here and fix my little copper. Hose, uh, spout. Okay. 
Now, here's where I'm going to be brave, and y'all are going to go, oh, no. <laughs> and it, I may mess it up. There's always that possibility. Just saying, it could happen. I'm going to get out some white paint. Where's my white paint? Oh, here it is. That one's not open yet. Where's my open one? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, which I didn't close, so who knows if it's dried in the lid. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Way too much. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a brush, a dry brush. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up. That's, that's all the paint I needed right there. Look how much I put out. This is why you need a desk journal. To scrape all that into a desk journal. All right, here we go. This is why I tell myself, shh, Okay, I can unhold my breath. Oh, wait, one more. And if it's not quite bright enough, you could get in there with a couple lines of Posca. <laughs> Maybe some stickles on the water could be. That's a good idea too, Kathy. Let me dry this now and I'll show you what I'm going to take us. Hang on. But you see why we had to have the brick done and everything done before you do that? Because you don't want to try to paint around that brick. So now I'm going to just take my white Posca and just get a couple of really bright highlights right out of the spout up there. And you really should have these plants done, you know, all of it, right? But there we go. So we got a little splash bunny going on. Okay. <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> Water that belly, yeah. <laughs> I could actually even put just a tad... Let me go ahead and put a little bit more going toward his belly, Terry. Could actually even have it. Let me get the brush real dry. You could even have a little bit of a splash. How about that? A little bit of water splash. Use Wink of Stella. Yeah, that would probably be good. Okay, now we have the little gray one, the little brown one. See, here's what the bricks look like before, or before and after. All right, let's go right over here down. And there's the black one. Here's a little black one. Will you have water going over the sides of the bird bath? Um, maybe. We'll see. That's that's a ways away. So you got to wait till all this is done. But that would be nice to have some. Now, see, now I have to finish these bricks before I can have water dripping, right? So let's go ahead and do this bunny first. Let's do the little white one. 
which we've already started shading in with the blue. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to add the little, um, little fur hairs with the blue in the shadow. Now, if there's a couple little hairs, this gives it like the dimension. There's nothing there, but if you put a couple little blue hairs, blue hairs, if you put a couple little blue hairs in there, it'll look like there's hair there. Hair on the hair. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to just flick in some blue because he's going to be white. And I'm going to use some Posca on him. I could, well, we could do the dry brush technique too with the paint. If you don't, you know, you can do that with paint too. Maybe we'll do a little of both. So I'm just going to flick in some darker shadows. Because that's how I do uh, like cat fur and um, not really dog fur so much because usually dog fur is coarser. Uh, well, I guess I could say you can do it like on a Shih Tzu or, well, anyway, it depends on the breed, I guess. I had to think for a minute. Haven't done those for a while. Got a Twitter account now. I'm inky well with an eye, Debbie. Inky well with an eye. Don't put an ink well or you'll get uh, Pedro upset because Pedro has ink well. <laughs> right, Vicky? Yeah, I don't know if I could, let me see if it'll show up. Because my phone, you know, it does kind of flash the camera out. Hang on, let me uh, go to, I just want to install something now on my phone. I'm struggling with white fur. Okay, well, I'm going to show you, so I'm going to do some here. Well, are you talking about? But with what, Juju? What medium are you using? Okay, hang on. Let me go to my... Um, albums. The very front page of my... It won't expand there. I'll have to go to my photos. Hang on. Albums, pets, animal and pet portraits. Here's my cat. Okay, so here's a Siamese cat. Of a long hair cat. Let's see if I can. Can you see? Well, you just need to go to my Facebook album. It's not wanting to. It's not. I have to almost tilt it straight up, because it. As soon as I tilt it, it goes away. Um, but you can see all my animals. There's some fur right there. Flick in some paint, Juju. I'll show you here. Again, it got dark in here again. Oh my gosh. It went dark. I don't understand. I really don't. I didn't change nothing. Now I lost my chat again. Hang on, guys. Ay, ay, ay. All right, now I gotta finish with the blue though. I gotta finish flicking in the blue before I can put in any white. You have to have the dark done before to put the light on. But since I'm gonna do extra white for the fur demo, I'll put extra blue so it'll show up maybe better. Okay. And again, I'll go in here with my black pen and do the eye nice and black because a lot of times, remember, a lot of times the color book pages, they're not dark, dark black. And then I'll put a little white Posca. Is your P 
PC running hot? No, you're probably hearing my fan. I have a fan going. Is that what you're hearing? Are you hearing my fan? If you're hearing something. I have a, a, a floor fan uh, sitting over next to me. All right, I want to go ahead and put a little bit of pink in the ears. Let's see. So I'm just going to get a pink and put in a little bit of shadow of pink. Just a touch. And then I'll take the white and kind of soften it. Because, you know, their ears are almost translucent. could almost just put a little bit of blue in the ears, too, because they're almost see-through. Oh, the lighting changed. No, the, I lost chat when I went to fix the lighting. Yeah, no, the, the, I lost chat when I switched windows. Yeah. Okay, now I want a little bit of, let's go ahead and put, let's outline his ears, which I should do this brick first, <laughs> but I'm going ahead of myself here. Let's let that dry a minute. And now I'll do the fur with the white. Okay, so I'm going to get my brush here. Where's my little brush? Let's dry it really well. Let's make sure it's... I mean, it can be damp, but you don't want any water in it. Okay, tell Mr. Bear hi, Jan. Thank you. Thanks so much. And keep posting those awesome pictures. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can show y'all one real quick. Again, on my phone, which doesn't do the best, but I'm going to show y'all one of Lady Jan's pictures on Instagram. Um, Posted some beautiful tulips here. Look at these. I don't know if y'all see. Them. Look. Ah. No, it's not going to show. Well, yeah, you just need to find her on this. Good. Sorry, guys. It's not going to show up with my phone. Hey, Barb. All right. So now what I'm going to do? It got dark again. It's almost hilarious. It's almost funny. Alright. Let's try to do some dry brush fur here. Yeah, I think they're parrot tulips. Yeah. Alright, again, dry brush. No water. Dry brush. And let's, and this brush may be a little big. I'll just go at an angle. And what I want to do is flick in some fur. Because the white ones, I think the white bunnies have longer fur, don't they? Again, probably should have these flowers done. And it may be very subtle. You may not really even be able to see it. I don't know. And go in the direction that their fur would grow. Like the leg comes down this way. You want to make sure that's important. Let me say that if you're doing fur, no matter what color, you have to do the fur in the way, it, in the direction it goes. Like in his back, it's coming back this way, right? But then when it comes down around his leg, it goes down this way. His little neck is going this way. <laughs> so you got to do all the fur in the direction that it would grow. The little feet would come out this way. I need a smaller brush for the feet. Can y'all see? Is he looking fuzzy to you? A, 
Angora. Yeah, Angora bunny fur. <laughs> All right, let me get a smaller brush. Let's see. Is that, no, I need a flat. <coughs> Just a nice little flat. Okay, and again, just getting some, no water, no water. And I'm going to come in here and just kind of flick in some, the direction it's going. And you could do this with your Posca as well. It's, but if you want this soft look like the water, that's kind of dry brush, uh, feathered out. That's kind of hard to do with the Posca. But something this tiny right here and this little fur, you could probably do this with the Posca. <laughs> and again, maybe a little bit of, let's put a little bit of fur on his ear. I don't know that he'd have it that much, but make a little soft little ears and the little areas like right behind his neck there on that black if you put just the tiniest bit it'll stand out and really I need to do his collar and then have some fur coming over the collar or the little uh, kerchief hey Bart if you have a little bit of uh, fed, uh, fur coming over whatever like here on his back. We'll fluff that a little on his back. Again, should have this brick done before I did this. <laughs> so you see how you can kind of really make it fluffy? All right, let's come down here on his little feet again. I don't have the grass done. <laughs> Let me get a green. Because I'm trying to show you so many things and getting ahead of, uh, getting ahead of, you know, like you can't put these shadows in around the fur. I mean, I guess you could if you want to spend hours doing it, but you really want to have that kind of stuff done. So I want this grass to be kind of scruffy-like. I'm going to do that on purpose. I'm not, I don't want it to be messy. I don't want it to be like blades of individual. I mean, I could throw a couple of individual blades in there. But I really want it to be rough. So I'm just going to get the shadows in here real quick. I can go back in here and work on the grass more. Okay, but this is where the fur is going to come over the grass. Alright, so now I'm going to go back in here with my little paintbrush and fluff out his little paws and his little chest hairs it's very subtle right along his leg there down this little foot he's, he's furrier than all the other guys or gals okay now Go back in there with just maybe a little couple of little extra shadows with some blue gray. All right, let's see if you can see. See how fluffy he is? I might have over fluffed. Okay, let me fix his little ear here. Kind of didn't quite get that fluff. the scarf pink or red dots that would be cute little red polka dot on the white one okay should I do that now now I want to we'll I have to do this brick see I haven't finished the brick here's the brick this is what the brick's gonna look like so there's a little brown one with by the brick here's the back the brick behind the little one laying here <laughs> getting washed and here's the little black one. 
a little furry, little cotton tail. And then this one, okay, so if we did a red polka dot, is that what y'all think? Um, but if I leave it white, here's the thing, if I leave the kerchief white with red polka dots, it's going to be uh, shaded in blue, and it's going to look too much like the bunny. Let me, sh let me just do a little extra shading on the bunny and think about it. So I'm going to get just a couple little extra little places. That may have been too much. Where's my white? I don't want them too dark, but I want a couple of other extra shadows in here. Lavender. A lavender one. A lavender kerchief. Just adding a little bit more shadows. A little bit in his ear there. There would probably be more of a shadow right there under his kerchief anyway because it's blowing up in the breeze there and so there'd probably be a little bit of a shadow right there from that. Bye Kmor! Thanks for stopping in. I need a sip of coffee. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit more shadow and I might go in with another layer of white now that I've added some more extra shadows he's fluffy he's a fluffy one <laughs> let's go back with my blue I think I will go back in with some more white now that I've added a little bit more shadow to him A yellow bandana. A yellow one would be pretty. Although a yellow one would probably be cute on a chocolate. I was thinking yellow on him. This one doesn't have anything. This one's naked. Shh, that one's naked. <laughs> this would be pretty like a pink or red. Pink or red, yellow. So if we did this one yellow, let me just get my let me just get my colors here. And let's just do a little wash. Hang on. Let's just do a little bit of a wash. Where's my water brush? Let's go ahead and just wash these in. So if this one's yellow, this is just the, you know, no shading yet. That one could be yellow. This one could be, do we want this one pink? Pink? I don't know. He's naked, yeah. N-I-K-K-E-D. So if that one's yellow. Hmm. I'm thinking this one red. And the other one blue, maybe? Lavender? Y'all want that one to be lavender, huh? Okay, I have to mix some because I've only got a dioxazine purple in here. Where's my tray? Or I could just use a pencil. But I'm determined to use these. Alright, so which one was purple? This one? No, that's blue. Which one was purple? This one? Yeah, there we go. Alright, and I will go ahead and pull in some of the white just because we haven't used it. So let's get some of that in there. I'm just dripping it out there to get it watered down. Lavender, right there. It's kind of fading into the background. The purple is. How about if we do kind of a lavender with purple polka dots? Let's put purple polka dots on it. How about that? Don't want it to soak through now. I 
Oh, sorry. What? Oh, I was thinking the black one. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. I know there's a lag. Okay, well, we'll go with that. We'll put purple polka dots on it. Let me dry. We didn't do a chat pack yet either. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see. Let's take a purple Posca. Purple Posca. Make sure that's dry. It's not dry yet. Hang on. A little more drying. All right, let's do some purple polka dots with a purple Posca. Do you need some? Yeah, I'm going to do some polka dots. Yeah. Kind of keep it subtle though. There'd be a few extra ones down in here because the what you call it the uh, kerchief is wrinkly around his neck, you know. What do y'all think? Like that? Maybe one more right there. <laughs> oh, it's cute! Look! All right, now let's go back to some more white on his fur with the dry brush. Let's see here. <laughs> All right. Again, I'm putting white over the brick that I haven't finished. <laughs> that brick needs to be done. Yeah, it is kind of cute, isn't it, guys? It is kind of cute. I can put it quite a bit on here with the because there's no water in this. There's no water in this paint that it's just dry brush here. So I don't have to worry about that going through. Bye Barb. I didn't see if Barb was just coming to say hi or something. I don't know. Kind of concentrating. That's a fluffy bunny. It is. And the more I keep adding, the fluffier it's going to get if I'm not careful. Alright, so again, the whiskers. I'd want white whiskers, but then I have to finish this ladder <laughs> and the leaves. So let's just go ahead and put in a little bit of brown here. Where the ladder would be. I gotta finish those bricks. I really do need to finish those bricks. Where's my dark brown? Alright, so now his whiskers would come out like here. 
and again I'll have to go back over them because I haven't done those little leaves but I think you can kind of see he's got his little fluffy nose there again what do we call it Vicky what was the nose thing the fluffy white nose thing And then let's do, where's the gray? Let me make sure his nose shows there. Because it's a little much. There we go. Knock that back just a little. Nose puffs. I got to write that down. <laughs> I'll forget. Nose puffs. nose puffs on bunnies. Okay. Alright, so I need a little bit more shadow in the purple. Let me go ahead and get a purple lavender pencil. dig one out here. I have a bundle. The ties to his bandana. You think it could be the ties to his bandana? We're going to make it the ties to his bandana. Good eye. Good eye. Whoever said that button? Okay, button. Let me go over here and get some of that purple. Lavender color we had mixed up just a little bit. And put a little bit of that on there. Good eye. Okay. Now, I'll let that dry for a minute before I put the Posca on there. Because I want to shadow. Let's get a lavender color. Because I want to shadow right under here. Which I could have put with the paint too. But See? Just that little bit of shadow on the back side. Now let me dry that because that there would be a little bit one down there too. Let's put a couple polka dots on that. Good eye. Now let me dry that. <laughs> and now shadow right up under there a little bit. Okay, I got too much. Where's my dark green for the grass? That's behind it. Okay. Now, let's drag that little kerchief out just a little. And again, his little whiskers. Okay, let's dry that. A little bit more shadow. I think that's good. He's snipping this flower, see? Ah. Alright, let's go back with a couple more purple dots. So cute! I love him! But the little polka dot kerchief is perfect. Whoever said that. Or the two or three of y'all that did. The only thing is, is it's too dark inside of his ear. Let me, let me lighten that up. I got too much shadow on the inside of the ear. It needs to be, it needs to be lighter, I think, in there. And the back side of this ear wouldn't be so pink. I just wanted a little translucent, but I got too translucent. So that would be a little less. Okay. I think that's a little better. 
very fluffy. So, what do y'all think? Isn't he cute? So we have all the bunnies. I think I'll go and do these bricks real quick because it's bugging me that we got two of them done. And then those, and their ribbons. Let's go ahead and do their ribbons too. Let's do that. It's really cute. Oh, they, I know. It's so cute. I get to tune the rabbits, huh, George? <laughs> All right, this red one. Let me get a red. satin ribbon so we'll make it like shiny like that so they got light dark light dark like that it'll make it look shimmery that might be a little dark right there <laughs> They're so cute. Especially the Angora. The Angora one is so fluffy. Alright, now let's go back to this brick here. And let's get my dark... Let's put the purple away. Let's get my dark brown and my sienna color and my grays. So I'm using dark brown, a sienna, a gray, dark gray, and a light gray. Those are the brick colors. All right, let's go with the dark brown first and get under each little brick. And remember, it kind of blends out on the sides here. while since I've, I mean, I have done some bunnies, um, drawn bunnies before in color pencil, but it's been a while. Now I want to finish this whole page. I want the whole page done now. I might just stay here and do it. I don't know. Nobody else, I don't know if anybody else has streamed. Joycey's not streaming at one, so. I might just stay here and finish this page. We'll see. Okay. A little bit of dark brown in this ladder here. Now go to the sienna. Let me sharpen. Thanks everybody for being here. Okay. If I miss saying hi to you. Alright, so now I'm going to kind of blend out.
<clears throat> Nobody's doing chill. Oh, chill. Uh, Xandra? Oh, yeah, Xandra comes on. It's, I'm not streaming until 7.30 tonight. <laughs> Don't cram. Tonight's Survivor, and I hope Janet's up for tweeting it with me. Terry L., me, Janet. Nat used to, and, J and JJ used to. No, I haven't seen him this season. All right, let me go in here with some dark gray now. <clears throat> I'm just kind of scrubbing it in so it looks brickish, remember? going to make some mashed new potatoes, red potatoes, mash them, and spinach, and a sausage tonight. Mm, that sounds good. Oh, um, <laughs> they do do. Why not? All you need is a cup of coffee with a grilled cheese. Yeah, I can't have grilled cheese every day. <laughs> I'm going to have new potatoes and spinach. I mean, spinach, like, not out of the can, but, like, out fresh spinach that I cook in garlic and, and olive oil. I know, I don't cook much, but, you know, when I do, I want it to be something I like. <laughs> all right, now I think I'm going to take, and I'm going to go ahead and kind of remember all these edges here with the brick, the red, and the black come together there. See? Gotta get that blended in. Oh, that's a, I think that's a, uh, let me just get a brown there. That's part of the ladder there. I don't want to lose that completely. It does sound good. Yeah. <laughs> Terry goes, dang, that's some great breakage, Dee Dee. <laughs> All right, now back with the light gray. Now I'm going to put a little of the light gray. And then I'm going to go in there with the Posca and add a few little dots, you know. And then go over those. And maybe a little bit of this might carry out on the side. That's too much. It needs to work right there. Yep, another brick in the wall. spinach like that it takes interest yeah that's what I do a big bag a big bag well it's not a restaurant size bag uh, Suzanne but it's a big bag you know probably about you know as big as this color book <laughs> well, not maybe not quite that big but it's a big bag and it and a and it fries down into or steams down if you will into just enough for two people it does it takes a lot but that's really the only way I like spinach But I do like it like that. It is good for you, for sure. All right, let's see. All right, now let me take my Posca again and just do some scratchy bits that I'll go over. 
with the light gray. This appears a shame. It's a color book. Would make. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could do paintings. Oh, you could have your own bricks in your paintings. See, that's one of the things about color book. You get, you practice your techniques, ideas. So there's nothing stopping you from making a color, I mean, a painting like this, right? All right, let's do a little bit more dark gray here. But, because you learn so many different techniques with using, doing color books. Let me hit that with a heat gun. And then go back over those little white dots with gray. See how they're still light? They may still look white to you, but in person they're they're light gray. Just to give it some texture. You could actually even go around those little white, these little uh, textury things with a darker color. It'll even make them pop out more. I'll just show you. So I'll get in here. Let's get the dark. Um, maybe even a little bit of dark. Let's see here. You can get in there and like almost shade those little black. I mean, shade the white Posca things we just did and give it even more texture. So it almost looks like there's holes in the bricks and things. Can you see that? And you can always, if it gets too dark, you can always go in there and lighten them up a little. All right, let me go back in here with my Sienna. Get a couple in, more in-betweens. Okay. I don't want too much distraction here though next to this one because that's where my little you see how it looks so much the same. I don't want to lose that cool looking little effect of the little kerchief there. I'm gonna shadow that. See, I need to put a little bit of white highlight on that kerchief now. And then go back over it with the purple. Because I kind of lost that edge. If you lose an edge with anything, just go in there with the Posca and get your edge back. And then go back over it with the color that you want it to be. Oh, did you, oh, oh, I thought, so I saw that my, it's all cap, sorry. Okay, now, real quick, while I take a quick little sip of coffee and let this set for just a minute we'll ask a question see it got dark oh let me um i'm gonna go ahead and back out one and let's just see now let's see let's go ahead and back out a couple and readjust our light again <laughs> i got it too light it just goes dark and light dark and light Let's see if we can autofocus. Come on. Where's my paint thing? This was focusing it well a little while ago. Adjusting, adjusting, more adjusting. <laughs> I 
Okay. A little bunny over there. Okay. So, well, it's still a little flashed out. I'm working on it, guys, the best I can. Because the light keeps going in different directions around my house. Love the page. Off to find some food. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet either. So, but I'm into this. Even though it won't focus for me. Oh my gosh, guys. So sorry. I just, it's always a challenge. Maybe if I back up and start over, you know, start from scratch. Let's autofocus again and let's reset. Florida. Oh, stop, camera. Stop. There. Well, I think I've got it probably as good as it's going to get <laughs> for today, anyway. For today, with the light being tricky coming in and out. So, I'll take a picture of it. I want y'all to see it so badly and it's just not being cooperative. Yeah. But that's enough. If it bothers me, then it bothers me. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What else can we do to kind of tie things together? I really kind of should do the little stone bird bath, maybe. Because if we did want to do water dripping, that would probably be a good one to have done. Also, the let's go ahead and lightly color in just to have this light wood. Let me just kind of distinguish here from the wood ladder to the shelf units. Thanks, guys. There's the ladder there because the gray, the shelves are gray, and I'm just I'm just kind of just lightly putting in the color here not even anything else just kind of just so I can find everything same thing here for the gray shelves that one's gray and you're probably not gonna be able to see this because it's very light I just want to kind of find my way on the page see what needs to be done so the shelves here oh that needs to be black in there I missed a whole section. Let me get my black paint. It's probably all dried up. Let me get some more out. Missed a whole little section there. All right. See? I know I love the bonies. So this is just Americana craft paint. And then this is just some areas that I missed at the beginning. Mm-hmm. 
know if I can get the camera to focus if I zoom, like really, you know, hold them up so you can see each bunny. All right, there's that. There's a little bit of black behind these flowers right here. A little bit of black behind this bunny. In between those flowers. Where else did I miss? Looking. I'm not sure if that's what's that supposed to be there, but I don't like it. So let me get rid of that little bit. I might have just missed a bit or Island Dare. Okay. Let me let me try this light lamp again. I move it up here because it's got dark in here for it's too dark for me to see. I mean like it got dark on me. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to readjust again guys but I can't see it got it literally got really dark and I'm half working in the dark so that my camera now I know I gotta fix this hang on but it got really dark in my room <laughs> So now, there we go. Okay. There. I think it looks cute. The little bunnies. All right, let me do a little bit on the grass down here because I just want to really want a bunch of scruffy stuff. Nothing really. Just some shadows around the flowers. It is Vicky. Okay. Just kind of want some scruffy. And I am kind of backed out now, dude. That's probably a good, good place to be. done any of the flowers yet, you know. Let me sharpen. Just kind of an olive color grass back in here. them too guys I, I, I really do like how the little bunnies turned out we have a few little pieces of grass flicking up there but uh, you can see because I don't fast forward or anything like that how long it takes to do a page and we're not near done but we got a big chunk of it Yeah, I know, because my, I know, because look, here's the true color, guys, if I really, there, look, there's the color of it, see, there's the color, the true color, but when I lay it down, see, it flashes out, so, I do the best I can, guys, that's all I can say. My light fluctuates in this room so much because I'm by a window. And so even when I close the blinds, which I had earlier, it's still, you know, the light still comes in and changes. And every time the light changes, even if I have my camera settings set to non-auto, they shouldn't change, but they do. So, yeah. 
they shouldn't change when I set them but they do every time the light kind of flickers in the window all right so there we go so I just want some kind of like scruffy grass in there I might put a couple little dark greens let's get it real dark Hmm. All right, let me dig out another green because I can't find one. Dark green. Uh. You're welcome, BG. And hi, by the way, I didn't see you come in. I'm probably sure there's a lot of people here I didn't see come in because <laughs> I was concentrating. Hey, beady eyed Beth. How you doing? Haven't seen you for a while. I mean, I see you online, but I haven't seen you here for a while. Good to see you. All right, so now i got a dark green, literally called dark green. And I'm going to just add a few little scruffy bits. Maybe even a couple kind of popping up over the bunny like that. So it looks like he's kind of sitting in the grass, you know. Let's see? Put a few little blades popping up over his body. Whoops, that one broke. I know, right? It does make a difference, Vicky, doesn't it? Little bits of grass coming up over his feet and stuff like that. And again, I just want to kind of pop in a few little blades of grass here and there. Because, you know, just we'll see how what happens after I get the flowers done. Okay maybe a couple of light green grass blades. Let me just get a like right here on the black. Maybe we'll have a couple little blades of grass because I can go over. Remember this is black paint. So because that's black paint I can go on there with pencil and just put in a few extra blades of grass right along the line yeah okay sip of cold coffee <laughs> trying to think oh let's see I wanted to work a little bit more on these shelves because I've already got the light gray and I, I think I only did light gray dark gray and black on those shelves you know to get those shelves done like this wood grain look. So let's go ahead and just put some more wood grain going around that and some ivy right there. And just a couple of darker wood bits. And then blend it all with the light gray. I think it's just going to look really good when everything's done and the bunnies will just be like in their little little world. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go down this wood here. I'll probably put a little Posca on it just to make it pop. delusional good to see you anybody else popping in I missed I haven't run down the list to see everybody 
for a while. There's some ladder things right there. And now that I'm not zoomed in, you probably can't see too much detail, but get a little bit of the big picture now. All right, let's go in there with the kind of a tan, kind of a tan color. Yeah, it's not going to be. I almost need a peach. Hmm. No. Here, let's go with the almost a green color. Yeah, this color here, which is ginger root. Ginger root on the with the wood on the ladder because I want it brown because the shelves are gray so I kind of wanted a different color so they stand apart from each other And I went over a couple of these little leaves, but I don't really worry about it because I can go back in there with whatever and fix, you know, go back and bring them back out. So like some of these that went over the top of the ladder, I can just paint them back in or you can go in there with pencil or whatever and go back over them. Because I don't like to get too fussy around little details like that when I'm coloring a big area. I'd rather just go back in and fix it like that. Okay, see like this particular branch right there, or stem, there's one right there. Alright, let's do this shelf, the dark gray, that's the green, where's the dark gray? And keeping it at an angle like that makes the wood look a different angle so it doesn't get lost like with the bunny right there. Let's put a little shadow under that, those pots. Should probably have some terracotta pots, some stone pots different colors for those so they're not all the same and I might go in there with a little bit of highlight on that wood too talking to myself can you tell <laughs> oh D what color did you use on the bird bath um, yes yeah, just watercolor just a tan color it was like a mixture of yellow ochre and something, just to put something there. But I haven't done anything more with that yet. Bye, Deb Colors. And you go. Oh. And you go whenever I go. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> you can carry me around on your iPad. Gotcha, Mara. All right, let's see. So, with my Posca, I'm going to make sure that this little bunny foot doesn't get lost. There. So let's put a little bit of a shadow. We can do the little stone bird bath next. Now back to the dark brown on this ladder and put just some little bit of gra wood grain in there, you know. Because it's tiny bits, guys, it's tiny. go in there and, and find things with the Posca or I can even and I might do this because I don't want to lose this I'm going to go ahead and edge 
edge of this ladder. I'll go back over it with the brown, the tan, the um, light brown. So, and again, I should probably do all this after I do the background, but yeah, yeah. Just get ahead of myself. It'd be a little bit of highlight there, a little bit of highlight there. It probably wouldn't be much highlight at all because it's in the dark. But we're gonna put it in here. Okay. Again, his little whiskers. Now that I got the grass. Ah. <sighs> gray highlight or blue highlight on this side kind of lost it with that brown all right so let that dry for just a minute then I'll go over it with the tan and a little bit of blue on the bunny let's see do I need this blended a little bit more So I hope y'all are working on something, coloring something, or writing down ideas, or something. The little rungs. I want those little rungs to kind of stand out a little. How long did it take you to gesso half a um well i didn't actually gesso i used uh i know what you're talking about though kathy i just used white acrylic paint it took me a couple of hours maybe for for that thick this thick one i don't know i didn't really time it too much because i'd leave and come back and i was watching different videos but that's four half well two magazines cut in half it took a couple hours probably Yeah, I just use white paint though. Okay, let's see. All right, that's probably dry now. So now I can go back in there. Because I was losing that edge on the ladder. It was going bye-bye. And then a little bit of the blue on this side of the bunny. There we go. Take your six then. <laughs> Not to do it all at once. And I only whited out the text. I only whited out text pages. So, yeah. All right, let's see. Let's fix a couple little spots here where I can see that I didn't sh get sharp with the paint. Because if I want to do this and then have water come down, I've got to have the background done. Because you really don't want to try to get back in there in the background behind whiskers and fur fluff or water splashes. You know, you really want that background done. Okay. So I'll go ahead and do the stone. I gotta think of what colors I want that. Again, I don't want to lose that little foot back there. I'd rather have that a little too dark than not dark enough. Because then that little foot got lost in the gray shelf. Let's go ahead and do the bird bath. All right, let's see. I'm going to want a little bit of... Let's see, let's go with... I think I might put some more washes. I'm going to put some more washes of paint on because I can get that mottled look better with the paint. 
So if y'all are just joining us after all these hours, <laughs> um, the watercolor that we're using for base washes are Kurataki Gonzai Tambi that my um, daughter g gifted me a Hobby Lobby card. So I had a 40% off coupon. <laughs> you done a page two and you're not waiting to start to exactly. All right, so let's see. I can probably use some of these leftover colors in here. Where's my water brush? Because there's a lot of different browns and stuff in here. So let's just pick up some. Although I do think I'm going to need a little bit of a yellow ochre. Let me grab some yellow ochre. I'll need some of that mixed in here somewhere. I'm just going to kind of drip off some excess, clean off my brush, and give me some water in there. So here's a little bit of brown, a little bit of purple. And again, I'm not really concerned about getting anything on these flowers. I'll just go over those later. I mean, I'm kind of going around them, but I'm not really concerned because I want to shadow under the flowers anyway a little bit. And then I'll kind of do where those lines are there. Let's see. I'm not sure. I'm making this up as I go. A little bit of shadow there. A little bit of shadow there. Let's go with a little bit more blue now. Blue gray. So I'm just going to at least get some shadows on here. Then I'll go in and kind of model it up. Like, you know, rustic kind of. Needs more shadow over there. I could click in one. Hang on, guys. I want y'all to be able to see. You know, I do my best here <laughs> for y'all to, to be able to see it. I'm just picking up random colors. Because if it's of a stone, you know, I'm probably even going to put some gray green in there. Like, let's pick up a little olive. Put a little olive green. Not that thick. Remember, gotta remember this is water, not watercolor. Is that a wagon wheel part right there? I think that is. So I need to go in between. So I'm gonna add a little bit of mossy, you know how algae or whatever you got <laughs> on the bird bath. back up here with a little bit of that green. And then I need to dry it before I add another layer because it'll go through if you get it too wet. So I want it stone but algae. So let's put a little more green on this shadow side. All right, let's dry that. Now, before I do the net, the some shading of the bird bath, I want to um, let me go ahead and just with a light brown, just find the wagon wheel here. That's not light enough. Oh, I need lighter. I just want to put some. Nope, not that either. Let's go with this color. No, nope, that's gonna be too. I need another brown. Let's see. Um, want a light brown. Never can have enough browns or blues. Never can. Let's That's one of the reasons that having water, you know, painting is good. Because you can paint so many, col get so many paint colors that you can't get with just only pencil sometimes. Let's see. I think I'll just go with the yellow. I'm just going to go with the yellow ochre for now. Because all I just want to do is just base in my wagon wheel. Just so I don't have that white wheel there. 
So I'll just go ahead and put it in yellow ochre for a minute. The stuff that stuff grows up here on houses, algae on houses. Mm. I guess I've seen it here too some days when it's, I mean, some years when it's really humid and stuff. I don't know. I mean, in Savannah, I guess you really would probably have it. I don't know about the Northwest where you are, Terry. Again, I'm just getting a coat of something on here. But it does grow on the bird bath. My, I think my mom said if you put a penny, copper penny, in the bird bath. Let's see, there's a wheel right there. Okay, I kind of got lost that wheel right there. Um, that it keeps it from growing in the bird bath. All right, let's go back in here with the black. I need to sharpen up a little bit. Am I painted? Okay, back to the back to the bird bath. All right, so now I want to do a little bit of tans and moss and brown. Actually, I could even do a little bit of white, kind of like it's. Uh... Oh well, let me do that after. I'm gonna put like a little bit of white wash on it. Dry brush some white wash on it. So first I just want to get some like tan colors. All right, I need to crisp up that edge. still hanging in. I mean, it's kind of getting a little a bit on the rep repetitious side now. Okay, and I think this wagon wheel is coming around here. I don't know if that's part of it or not, but I'm going to make it part of it around that way. That's one, and this is one, and here's another one. The spokes. All right, we're hanging. Okay. So now I'm going to get in here with a little bit of um, an olive kind of green. This is a French gray. It's a green gray. I also want a green. Okay. <laughs> Terry, was it, who was it that was showing their little mm. nub of... Uh, Somebody had a blender stub. Who was it? Was it was it you, Terry? Somebody showed it earlier today. All right, so now I'm going to get in here with a little bit of olive green and just make it look kind of mossy. Not neat, very just kind of general moss gro growth. <laughs> yeah, who put who posted that? That little blender? Yeah, I don't remember who it was either. Somebody posted a little stub of a blender that they had. I mean, it's literally like something like Janet would have, but it wasn't Janet. So, and I'm also following the lines that are there on the, you know, the bends or the dips in the stone right there, where the, it kind of, the lip of it. Okay. 
and shade a little bit under there and around some of these flowers which we haven't done yet <laughs> But you can just always like look up, you know, mossy bird bath in in images if you don't know, you know, if you're not sure what kind of colors. Because it's gonna gray stone. Um, okay, there'll be a shadow under here. Down here, on the side here. And I'm going to whitewash it too, but down in here, probably won't see much of it by the time we're done. I think that's supposed to be, I think that's part of the bird bath there. No, should I? Blender pencil is. No, should I? I missed something, Sue Ben, sorry. Unless you just accidentally capped something. It was really funny, though. I mean, it was literally like this big. Like, here, look, this is my little stub here. It was like literally just the, just the tip. That's all they had left. They said it wouldn't even fit in a, wouldn't even fit in their um, pencil holder. <laughs> And if you're watching this on YouTube and it got like long or something, just fast forward. You can always fast forward to, you know, sections. If you don't want to have to watch every little bit of things being colored, just fast forward to another, you know, segment. All right, so there we go. So now what I want to do, oh, I might need a little bit more green right in here. Again, I'll, I'll go in there with those flowers next, just because it doesn't look good without the flowers being done. All right, I need a little bit of peach color. Where's my peach? Get a little more stone color, because I'm going to whitewash this with a um, dry brush. We're going to dry brush over this. So I need it kind of dark so that when I go over it with white, it'll show. Okay. Mossy stone. It was shells? It was shells? <laughs> that was hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. Let me see if I can find it. It's on Twitter. Let me look and see if I can just find it real quick. Dang, my Twitter's blowing up while I'm here. Okay, let's see. I think, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm just going to hope I can find shells by, sh there she is. There it is. So here's her color book page she's working on. Look, look, there. Hang on, let me see if I can zoom in. Look. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? That little stub of a pencil blender. Oh, hi, Colleen. I didn't even see you come in. Hi and bye. <laughs> okay now let's go see if any of my white paints left from well, I'll probably just have to get some more I don't even know where that little here this little bit let's see if that, I can poke a hole in this uh, here we go let's see yeah okay I can still get some out of there because <laughs> it's crusted over you know Okay, so I think I might want just a tiny bit of tan in there, though. I don't want a pure white. So let me look here for just a tiny drop. I mean, like I just want a little drop of brown or something there. Way too much. I just want to touch it. <laughs> you know, 
just a tiny, tiny, just a little bit of off-white. That's all I'm wanting, just so it's not pure white. Okay, so now I'm going to come in here and dry brush. not quite dry brushing enough for me. I'm not going to worry about those flowers right now. I'll just paint over them. And then I kind of just want to scruffy in. See, I just want it all kind of messy, you know? Can go back in there and find some more shadows if I need to. Alright, now let me dry that and I want to put a little bit more peach color on the to it. What am I going to do with the flowers? I don't know yet. <laughs> I haven't decided. Alright, let's see. Let's add a little bit more of the peach color. Very model-y looking. Very... Old. I'm trying to get it to look old. Alright, now i got to kind of find my little... Let me get a dark gray thing here. I think this might be dark enough. Get the creases the stones okay yeah I'm gonna do the flowers because I gotta do something with at least these flowers because I want to do water dripping over Flowers are like the little, like the icing on the cake. Let's do a little more shadow back in here. A little bit under the bunny there. See, so you can see if you're watching this in real time, which you guys are, <laughs> how long it takes to do these color book pages if you want to do them detailed ones. All right, now let's see what I can do with just a little bit of... What do y'all think? Does it look kind of like old, mossy? Whatever. <laughs> I 
the shadow a little bit more over here. Thanks, Mara. All right, we gotta get crack a lacking. Been here another two hours already. So it's time to get that waterfall coming over the edge there. I gotta think about these flowers though, real quick. Um, this is a wagon wheel right here. These spokes. I'm trying to just find everything. And that's not shaded yet or anything either, but all right, let's see. It looks heavy and solid. Okay, good, good. Now, I at least got to figure out these little flowers here. So let me kind of see where they go. Or there's these are little ones up, up to these big ones. So I'm not sure what. That will be green, green. And I got to still paint in between. I got to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, those will be green. That's some green ivy. So these plants and this will be green. And that will be green. So these little flowers. I almost want them yellow. But then that kind of might get lost with this. And these are going to be purple, and these are going to be purple. So I want these particular kind to be something else. I guess I should be maybe pink. If these are going to be purple, these could be pink. Pink might be good in there. I might just start with the Posca. Let's see. That might be too bright, but I could probably... Mm, nah, those Poscas are kind of... Let me just see. Eh, maybe I could do it and put white over it. Alright, so that's what I'm going to go. I'm going to do these pink. So I'm just going to use a Posca paint pen. Otherwise, I could just... No, you know what? I think I will just use paint. Because I can do two colors at once. So let me get uh, another palette here. Let me get some... I'll go with uh, Peony Pink. And the white together. Let's get a tiny brush. So, so I can kind of double load my brush. And then kind of do a... It's not enough yet. I need more white. Kind of do a... Pink and white flower stroke. And I'll put something else in the center. So I'm not fo really following the color book. I'm just putting flowers on there. See? That one's too big. Yeah. Let's go back with that one. I just want some little buds, like. See, so I'm just kind of mixing the pink and the white and just putting little petals. And see, now I'm having to go a little bit over his whiskers. That's why I said earlier I'd have to repaint in his whiskers if I put them in too early. So I'm going to let this little pink set up for just a minute because then I'm going to go back in there with some a little tiny bit more. Well, I could do it with the Posca, I guess. So just some little pink flowers. And then maybe just a little... Just a little tiny yellow dot in the center, maybe. This is too orange. Maybe a yellow Posca might just put a dot in there. Okay, I gotta let that. I gotta dry that though. Hang on. Okay, so now. 
just put a little yellow center in each one. Probably doesn't show up very well, but because I'm going to probably do these pink too. Like, let's see if you can see these if I do these big ones for a minute. So, like, I'll get some pink and white, and I'm just going to kind of almost double load my brush. My white's almost dried up. Yep, yeah, it's dried up <laughs> from earlier. Something like that. And again, I should do that wagon wheel before I do these pink flowers. But I wanted you to kind of see a couple. Okay, we can go in there. Let's dry that and then I'll put some pencil to it. Shade these and put some water. Because we're almost out of time. Okay, so now where's my yellow Posca? Let's put some little yellow centers. Maybe even a couple of stamens would look good in there too. Alright. Just getting in there with tight with the pencil where, you know, because I painted at first. All right, so now let's go in there with the darker brown and kind of shadow just a little under that green brown. And just put a little bit <clears throat> of shadow under some of these flowers. Let's blend that out. Hope y'all can see a little bit. See just a little bit of shadow under the flowers there? In between or whatever. And I'll take my white and maybe just add a couple little bits. Because you really can't see that much detail in a, in a flower this far away. So you can make it whatever you want. can see okay and again these little these little ones over here could um, put some white little stamens in there right, and then maybe just a little white like indication of a stamen or something coming out of these now we got to do the waterfall i think we're ready for the waterfall although i did not do this flower yet oh my gosh so many flowers but i'm determined now we're going to go ahead and do the we're going to do the waterfall coming down here onto him so back to the dry brush the larger one so this will be it, guys. We're going to finish up with this water splash. Cute little bunny. Looks even cuter with the pink flower. Yeah, he does, right? All right, so, so the water's coming down here. And it's going to splash right over here. Just a little like this will be enough. I'm barely touching the page. I mean, you can't even see how lightly 
I'm, I'm not touching the page. You know what I mean? So, what do y'all think? Is that enough? Do I need some behind his head or is that enough? I do need to add his whiskers back here though. Cause kind of lost. Maybe one's behind that flower. One little whiskers peeking behind that flower there. It's enough. More water, please. <laughs> you keep it subtle and it's more dramatic. It's more effective. It's more effective. You just have a little, you know. And this one's going, huh? Huh? <laughs> I mean, I could drip it down his back, but I think that's good. I mean, maybe it's just kind of hitting his back right here. <laughs> Terry, oh, fine. <laughs> He's enjoying his bath. I could put a little back here, Terry. I could splash, you know, put a little bit dripping back behind his head. Do you want a little bit behind his head? Oh my gosh. I can always paint it back out. Let's see. Where's my brush? Don't even know where that brush is. <laughs> what did I just do with that brush? I, oh, there it is. All right. We'll put a little bit, a tiny bit behind his head. That's for Terry. could even have it kind of coming off the wagon wheel, but I haven't done the wagon wheel yet, so I can't really do that yet. Terry happy here. Are you happy, Terry? <laughs> and again, this would probably come down behind here. Or right over. It could come right in front of it like that. Okay, so anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed this. We did quite a bit. I mean, this was a lot. This was a lot today. Don't you think? <laughs> uh, alrighty. And yeah, and these little flowers here, they'll be pink, but I have to do the dress. So here's some more little flowers here that'll be pink, but maybe the dress, maybe this one will be a stripe, blue and yellow stripe, and you know, and then the flowers, the pink flowers on top, like these flowers, will come up here, here, and here, but you got to have the background done first. See, that's the thing. And these are some little pots, like you know, little with holes in them there. These are going to have some green in them. It'll take a while, guys. It seriously will take a while. But I think you got to see fur and bricks. 
So that's what we call it bricks and bunnies. Okay, Sarah. So again, let me see if I can get the color true for you. Because it is a little flashed out, guys. But, yeah. If y'all want, I can post a work in progress, although it's got a lot more to go. But maybe we could do a little, you know, bit right here or something. I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks so much. I appreciate you being here. Hope y'all had fun. Even though we had lighting issues. But, you know, hey, what's new? <laughs> so I'll post a picture of it, like, so you can see the colors. And uh, post the whole picture? Okay. All right, I'll take a picture as soon as we're done. I'll throw a couple pencils on it so that you can tell it's a work. Well, you can tell it's a work in progress, but okay. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Thanks, everybody. Bye.